Hey, what's going on guys? Lag here and thank you for joining me today for a Neo 2 build video. Alright guys, in today's video, I would like to share with you all my hatches built. Starting off, we're in the Honda clan again. Well, I'm in the Honda clan again. And I decided to stay in this clan for this particular setup for the extra active skill damage and to help with damage mitigation on that first attack when uh, I'm at full health. Alright, so moving on. Going on to my stats. Alright, so for this particular setup, I'm basically focusing in terms of damage scaling uh, mainly my points in skill and magic and with that being said you can also go the route of magic and courage if you want it um, by the hatch of scaling very well with courage skill and magic but I decided to run with skill and magic I'm also making sure that my stamina is roughly in the range of 43 to 45 to keep my agility at A alright and my other stats are basically even out the way I wanted them to so alright guys so moving on Run on to my equipment now. All right, starting off, so in this particular setup, I'm using the Jurogen's Grace. And I realized in my last few videos that I was, I was saying clan, but I was wrong. So I'm just correcting myself now and I'm saying Grace, which is the correct meaning for the um, items I'm using. So, all right, and moving on, the reason I'm deciding to use this Grace is for the seven piece bonus, which is attack bonus magic. It's a very good set in my opinion, in terms of Omnio and also like the six piece bonus as well, which helps give you extra um, healing whenever you don't have any rejuvenation or anything like that up at the time. So, all right, moving on to my next piece. I'm sitting at 180 plus 20 on my hatchets. And as you can see, my rolls are basically fairly simple. If you get anything other than active skills, such as like melee damage saturated, you know, I probably would stick with that. But uh, other than that, it's, you know, it's pretty basic. For my bows, they're pretty simple, nothing special. Just want these for the set bonus. All right, for my first piece of armor, I'm using the Black Fox Mask. And my rolls are pretty simple, nothing special. All right. And if you want, you can just roll attack on each piece if you decide that you want to pump out as much damage as possible. But uh, I decided not do that. And, uh, you know, teach his own with that, so. All right, moving on to my next piece, my chest. I rolled this chest for the Gimme Omnio set, and it came with active skill damage at 7.8%. And the reason I'm deciding to use the Gimme Omnio set is for the fourth piece bonus, which reduces the enemy's defense on any Omnio magic hit. All right. And also, again, like you, like I said, if you want to roll attack, that's up to you. If you decide to try this out. All right, moving on to my gloves. Same thing came with um, active skill damage and basically everything else is fairly simple you know right. and basically also another thing too guys if you notice um I spent a lot of materials on this particular set so I didn't really do any uh, uh, remodeling anything because I'm kind of low on uh, chisels right now so I just left this uh, as basic but if you want and you have any uh, extra materials go ahead and reinforce your armor for extra, uh, a bit of extra defense all right, so next on um, piece is my pants, and I managed to force these pants with elemental weapon damage. And the other rolls are basically fairly simple, nothing special there. And anywhere you can get any active skill damage or elemental weapon damage, guys, you want to definitely make sure you do that. Um, I want to do a test to see which is stronger, and I'll probably post a video on that later this week. And uh, you know. We can do, we can go from there and decide whether or not it's active skill worthy, you know, more than uh, elemental or you know, vice versa. And for my pants, I'm sorry for my boots. Basic rolls again. I don't have any attack on here. I didn't feel it was necessary, so I just left that empty. I didn't have any other rolls I could find at the time to throw in there. So, all right, this is one of the newer charms I got, and for this particular charm, the um, divination board. The reason I'm using this is to help scale my Omni or Magic Power up a bit more. And also because it came with active skill damage. And I rolled on Life Drain with Omni or Magic Hit and Saturation. Alright, and for my Yasukani, I basically saved scum my Yasukani again to get the Saturated roll. I lost my other two rolls I had on my Dual Swords build. So I gotta reload that save to get those back because I don't intend on... Um, keeping the Jasakani like that, I'd rather have the lightning set up with the extra melee key damage versus uh no you know no key enemy so I think I said that wrong. Alright going on to my next item I'm using this 
Um, this scroll right here with and murder urn, you can probably get something better than that. And active skill damage at 6.4%. Alright, and for my Omni items, basic stuff. Typically what I use in all my builds. Alright, and like I said, and I'll say it again, Soul Purge is not required. I just use this basically to show off the build at its fullest potential when fighting, you know, bosses and all that. So, the build still hits really good, but, you know, just don't think you need this to play, you know, play the build, so... Alright, and for my Soul Course, I'm using the Peppo. You probably wonder why I'm not using Kazuki. That was personal, so I decided, you know, I wanted to just run with the Peppo. I'm sorry, I wanted to just run with uh, the cores I'm currently using. Alright, I'm using Kazuki. Alright, and I'm using Kasha. And again, if you want to sub one of these cores out for Gayuki to get the extra melee damage, that's up to you. If you decide to try to set it out, I prefer to just use this. Um, I feel more confident setting up confusion with the Akashi Yokai ability. Um, you know, so. Alright, and that's about all for my set right here. So, other than that, I think I covered everything. Um, so yeah, like I was saying earlier, if you decide that you want to, you know, force this set or attempt it, um, and you get lucky to get the star active skill rolls, uh, damage rolls, you know. Um, personally, I think active skill might be stronger than elemental weapon, but I do want to do a test to confirm that, at least from my, you know, from my, from my, you know, peace of mind or whatever, so. But I'll share it with you guys as well when I do the test. Alright. Other than that, you guys be safe, man. I'm going to get up out of here. And I do intend on releasing a stronger version of my Switchblade set. But uh, I want to do some more testing out with some other graces. And, you know, that's about all for that. So, alright guys. Other than that, you guys be safe. And I'll catch y'all later.